A lockout tagout program must be developed and implemented when workers are provided to perform hazardous maintenance and equipment repair. The lockout tagout program must include machine specific procedures for shutdown and re energizing equipment, as well as training for affected employees. These procedures must be followed during the maintenance of equipment to avoid unexpected energization or startup of the machinery or equipment or the release of stored energy, which could cause injury to employees. Procedures will vary depending upon whether the source of hazardous energy is electrical, hydraulic, mechanical, thermal, or chemical, and how many employees are affected. All employees should be familiar with the lockout-tagout procedures for their company's operations. A review of these should take place periodically. Please ensure you follow all facility-specific lockout-tagout requirements to verify that all soot-blower energy sources have been isolated, such as steam, air, electrical power, and all other sources deemed necessary by your facility-specific lockout procedures. The following six steps safely de-energize equipment. 1. Notify all affected employees that the equipment will be shut down. 2. Shut down the equipment by normal stopping procedures. 3. Isolate all the equipment's energy sources. 4. Lock out and or tag out the energy isolating devices with assigned and individual locks. 5. Release or restrain any stored energy by grounding, locking, bleeding down, etc. 6. Assure that no personnel are exposed. Then, test the equipment to assure that it will not operate. When restoring equipment to service, 1. Check to assure that all employees are safely positioned or removed from the area. 2. Confirm that equipment controls are in neutral. 3. Remove lockout devices and or tags, then re-energize the machine or equipment. 4. Notify affected employees that the servicing is complete and the equipment is ready for use. According to the latest statistics, Every 10 minutes, two people are killed and hundreds suffer disabling injuries from accidents on the job. Don't be a statistic. Know what part you play in the lockout-tagout program.